Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and um, I wanted to talk a little bit about batteries because I see a lot of comments and a lot of messages of people talking about batteries and a lot of you have it right and a lot of you have it wrong and we're going to explain the rechargeable batteries. How do you take care of rechargeable batteries? Okay, this is the um, the way you should handle these batteries so that you have and they last the longest possible. So for our hobby, we have different types of batteries. Of course, you can use AA batteries, alkalines, and those work fine, but they cost money. And once they're done, you got to throw them away, buy new ones. So of course, a lot of us use rechargeable batteries. And one of the problems with the way people think of rechargeable batteries comes from the past. Long time ago, the main batteries that we would use were NICADs, nickel cadmium batteries. Those were the only rechargeable batteries available for a while. And they had a flaw. When you would not discharge them completely, they would actually have something called a memory effect. It wouldn't go past a certain level when you would recharge them back. And that created a problem and the cell would not last very long and not hold a charge. And that, unfortunately, is the way of thinking that went forward with a lot of people with today's rechargeable batteries. And it's totally wrong. You do not completely discharge batteries today. It is not once. For, for, for one, it is not required. For two, it actually damages the battery. And so in our hobby, we have NIMH or nickel metal hydride technology for double A's. And we have lithium ions like in the 18650 batteries that some radios use like the x data. Lithium ions is very simple. As soon as you finish using your radio, plug it to have it charged immediately. It's as simple as that. Why? Because if you drop a lithium ion battery close to its um, lowest point, you are actually shortening its life by a lot. Lithium ion batteries are not designed to have big charge discharge cycles. If you do that, the battery is not going to last very long and it's not going to hold its charge very long. These batteries are meant to be recharged immediately as soon as you need to recharge. Like on your smartphone, you do not let your smartphone go to, you know, 5% battery every day. If you do that, you're going to see that your smartphone, just after one year use, your battery is already going to be quite bad compared to somebody that never or almost never lets it drop to zero. So it's very important because lithium ion batteries are not made for big deep cycles. They're made to give you power. Once you actually stop using the device, you put it charged, just plug it to charge it. And you know, you'll be happy every time you use it. You're always at 100%. Using that like that will actually make that battery last a very long time. Nickel metal hydrides are not as badly affected by deep discharges, but they don't need to be uh, discharged completely. When you use a battery or when you use a radio, you can actually immediately recharge an IMH batteries, even if they're just you know, 20, 30, 40% used. Once again, it's gonna ensure that your radios are always at top 100% when the batteries are needed and it doesn't hurt the battery at all. It just will recharge it. There's no memory effect in NIMHs. There's no memory effect in lithium ions. That's old technology that was like that. It's not like that today. And last thing, if you want to have your batteries last the longest time possible, NIMH batteries do not, do not buy the fast one hour chargers. Those charge your batteries so much, so fast, that it creates an enormous amount of heat inside the battery and it actually degrades the battery faster. You're better off with something that takes, you know, four, six, eight hours because it's more, it's softer on the battery. There's less heat generation 
and your NIMH batteries will actually last much longer if you charge them slowly than if you use these really big one hour chargers that will heat them up. You know, they, they, they become so hot you can't even hold them in your hand. That is really bad for a battery. Has four lithium ion batteries. They need to be very, very handled with care and have a very good charger because these batteries can actually be dangerous if not charged properly. If you enjoy my bat, my if you enjoy my batteries, <laughs> if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to this channel and hope you enjoy. It.